Join us in the audience is Teresa, a mom who is concerned about her son. Welcome. Welcome. Hi. Thank What's you. What's your question for us? I'm a mother of two. I have a 10-year-old and an 11-month-old. Uh, my 10-year-old is almost 11 and in fifth grade. He's uh -huh. heading into junior high next year. And he's always been very well in school, but we get the feedback quite frequently that he needs redirection. Sometimes he's behind lagging from task to task and um, sometimes just zoning out in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And we've seen it at home, so we know it's not just a classroom thing. And I'm just wondering, you know, I figured he's a boy, he's gonna grow out of it, but now we're heading into junior high, things are a little bit higher stakes, I feel like. And I'm wondering what are the like natural things we can do to enhance his focus, concentration, mm -hmm. and at what point does that become something we should be concerned about medically? Absolutely, yeah. There's five tips. So first tip is you wanna have in your home a nice space for the child to do their homework. So away from screens, no laptops, no cell phones, just something quiet that he can focus on his work. Second tip is to go ahead, and if he's got a lot of physical energy, is to let that all out. Let him exercise, let him play ball, let him play basketball. Let it out so he actually now can mentally focus on the task at hand. Another tip is to break up the homework into bits. Homework is overwhelming, and if we just give it all to the child at once, he's probably gonna feel very overwhelmed. So just break it up into maybe like 30 minute bits, set a timer for instead of 30 minutes, 45, so he feels good that when he's done at 30 minutes, he's like, wow, I did this when the time, before the time was up. Kind of sort of like a positive reinforcement. And the other super cool thing to do is give a DHA, omega-3 fatty acids have actually been shown to help reading comprehension, just development in general, brain development. So it doesn't hurt to add that also into your routine. Thank you. Yeah. And when should you worry? So attention deficit hyperactivity syndrome is a chronic condition. It starts in the childhood years and it can continue like all the way into adulthood. So some of the things we see in kids that have ADHD is inability to fo focus on their homework. They can't sit still. They're all the way darting across the room from one minute to the other. They're interrupting adults when they're talking to them. So these are some signs. And the other sign is their grades are kind of uh, failing. So that's when you want to talk to your pediatrician. And I'm just curious, I know, Teresa, your yeah. question was about zoning out. Mm -hmm. Dr. Adud, how would you put that then in the spectrum of ADHD? So zoning out is actually a medical problem for the child if you're starting to notice that their grades are dropping at school. And so in order for us pediatricians to diagnose a patient with ADHD, we have to see it in two settings. So at home, they're not doing well with their homework, and at school, they're not paying attention and their grades are falling. Love these responses, Dr. Duden. Teresa, thank you for the question. Thanks. And we did want to give your son a special school supply care package oh. to help keep him such a good student. Oh. And uh, nice. thank you again for coming today. <laughs>